Hiya! Welcome back. Um, today, what we're going to do? Well, a while ago, you might have seen, if, if you watch this channel, I tested some LED headlights and they were shit in every single way. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to try today is I'm going to try some better quality LED headlights. Now, as for the legalities of these and will it pass an MOT and what have you, I'll just put it on the screen now. That's the rules. So on this car, they will fail an MOT. Um, rules for bikes, different though. Uh, just put that one out there. Anyway, these Elegen, no, not Elegen, H4 LED LED lights, and they've got a fan on the back. So obviously they are good. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to start by just fitting it to one side. Also an MLT fail, actually, if you've got different colour light on each side, but I'm not going to be driving it with it. Um, I'm going to try it on one side, and then I'm going to go somewhere dark, and I'm going to compare the two. Now, what can be done with these lights, which the other ones couldn't do, is what I'm hoping for is that one side is the dip beam and one side is the main beam, and then we're in, then we're in with half a chance of it putting out some sort of beam pattern that is something like what we want because these are reflector style headlights so the way these work is the light comes out of well for the dip beam it wants to be on top it wants to come out upwards hit the reflector which then channels it downwards towards the floor if that makes sense now if it isn't that way i can actually turn this as long as one side comes on with one and one side comes on with the other i can get them something like right because this actually turns this well i've turned it so it comes off but i can adjust it and turn it around to whichever way i want it to so to start with i'm going to put this in one side and then see how it looks which leads us to this nice tidy place here with nice wiring in it to our plug the first thing i want to do is pull that plug off i'll say it again the first thing i want to do is pull that plug off which isn't playing nice right so i've got that unplugged I'm going to plug this in. And before I do anything else, plug that into there. Now that's plugged in, I'm going to go and turn my lights onto dip beam. And I want the side to be lit up, which is next to this prong. So I'm going to turn it around so it should be something like lined up. Right, so it's very bright actually. It's much brighter than the others, Jesus. But it doesn't work how I thought it was. I'll just explain. Right, so I'm back inside the car now where it's relatively dry um when the dip beam is on i can't really see what i'm looking at because i've got big purple dots in front of my eyes from looking at that light but when the dip beam is on the ones that light up i've got that little shroud around them so the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to have it pretty much like that is now so the shroud shines a light upwards towards towards that center one so i might have to tweak this when i put it in but for now, I'm just going to put it like that. Ish. You know, so it's in the middle anyway. Fucking, I can't do it with one hand. Anyway, and then I'm going to put the bulb in. And then, in a minute or so, when it's night time, because it's not night time now, but in a minute or so, it will be. And I will see how it actually looks. Uh, for the main beam, the unshielded ones come on at the back there, as you can see. So, then, yes. Right, let's fit it. Let's just pull this condom off. And then take this bulb out. Which has got just a little clip. I'm not really showing that very well, but a little clip that sort of pushes into one side and then holds a bulb in. I'm not sure if these clips are actually going to go around that, so I might have to struggle with it for a bit. Uh, so as you can witness there, I've turned it to the way that it wants to be. And now, pull that out. I'm not sure how this is going to fit round here, but I'm going to try. It might not be something I can do while I'm videoing, to be honest with you. Right, if you're going to fit these, just 
bear in mind that you might need a bit of perseverance and if you want to get the clip over it you've got to pull the bulb out slightly do a bit of a dance and a bit of a jig and then put the bulb through that first and then it does fit in so that's in there now i'm gonna leave i think i might put it on no i think i'm gonna leave this off because it might block the earth to that fan right so plug this in look at this the frustration look at that there we go got there in the end right, so now it's plugged in let's go and turn it on right, so there's the original bulb compared to fucking hell it's pretty bright actually and uh that fan is it spinning looks like it's spinning yeah i think the fan's actually spinning but it is really quiet so let's just see if it is actually spinning stick something in it yes it is actually spinning so it's a real fan right so it's not night time and what i am surprised about it is if you look at the reflection the beam pattern not reflection on the back of that merc it has actually got one this is the first time i've put leds in an H4 bulb that I've got a proper beam pattern. I'm just moving the beam up and down there and it's actually working. Yes. So as if by magic, it's now night time and I'm back in the place that features in a lot of my videos because it's one of my favorite places to hang out. It's a um, dodgy, dark car park in Oldham. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna put one bulb in and turn it on and uh there's a wall there that's just my side lights on i'll put the dim lights on the spotlights on i was going to shine it at that and compare the beam pan but before i want to do that i actually going to put the original bulb back in and i'm going to drive around this car park loads of fun and uh then i'm going to swap them over and then compare them Right, so I'm going to take this one out, which I put in before. I'm going to swap it for the standard bulb. Now, I wasn't going to bother filming this because, well, because I've showed how to change the bulbs in another video, in the other video that I did. But it's a bit different with these because you've got to squeeze, let's see if I can show it, you've got to squeeze that over the top of the fan unit before you can take it out. And when putting it on, you have to sort of put it half in place, squeeze a clip over it, and then clip it into place. But it does clip into place properly. So first thing I'm going to do anyway is, now I've shown that, is I'm going to put this bolt back in. And plug it back in and see how bright it is. So where we are with standard Halligan bulbies. So, just to get a comparison a little bit. Right, that's looking in front, main beam's on. No, we drive, it don't get any better. It's just how the lights are on this car. So let's park back up and swap them over. Put the purr of a light in. I mean, that's, that's my main beam on as you can quite clearly see there. So there's our old bulbs taken out and I've uh, left them left them uh, covers off because, well, they'll go on, but this is probably not gonna stay on. Anyway, let's see how they compare. Side lights and boom. Yeah, they're, they're actually really bright. Uh, and the beam pattern is as good at least as the original bulbs so i wasn't gonna bother with these bulbs i can't really say where you can buy these ones from but if you are gonna if you are gonna get led bulbs i mean it's obviously you know mot rules and everything apply and you, you you've got to abide by them um but if you are going to be a proper g and you're going to break the rules and you're going to get led bulbs Make sure you get the ones with a little shroud that I pointed out round them so that the beam pattern is at least, you know, where it's meant to be. 
and you're not dazzling everybody and you can see where you're going beneficial in most situations um as for well i don't know what wattage just turn that fan off but if you listen i don't know if you can pick it up but turn the lights off all right turn them on the engine not hardly changes so they must be taking less watts than the halogens don't know what they are like i said these bulbs i acquired them i didn't buy them i don't know i can't point out where to get these from probably amazon or something or ebay or whatever um i ended up with these because someone had them in something in a bike that they didn't like them in um and i took them out and you know the guy was like well i didn't want them and i threw them in the top of my toolbox uh, and i didn't really want them they were just there and i picked them up the other day i was never going to fit them because i've tried led bulbs in the past and as i mentioned absolute pile of wank looked at these ones i thought these look all right these they've got they've got a fan in them i want a bit of that fan so i thought i'll give them a go and I'm pleased I did, because I'm actually really impressed with them. Let's see how they are when driving anyway, because I'll try and get a side-by-side -side on this if I can suss it out on editing, because uh, I'll get a picture of them side-by-side -side to the original board, but that is our dip beam. That is our main beam. And as you can see, that is quite effective and definitely more effective than the original bulbs. Let's see where you're going. Uh, put them back on dip beam. And let's just try them with everything lit up. So, you know, if you're not going to dazzle people, you might as well do it properly. So, we'll put um, main beam on. We'll put our uh, doofers on. You know, them, them ones there. Which actually look quite ineffective when compared to these, these fucking beasts. Um, take it back off main beam now. Yeah, I am actually pretty impressed with them. And this, side by side, because it's what you've all been waiting for. Yes. As you can see, the beam pattern is actually a beam pattern. Uh, no worse than the original lights, which I am surprised about. Um, I mean, I sort of say... I'm going to have to eat my words a bit here because I've always slagged off LED light bulbs, especially in reflector headlights and said they can't possibly work. These ones do. And me eating my words, I talk a lot, so I'm going to get fat. Light up the magic in every little part, let all the sunlight. Let's just have a quick look at them from, well, what they look like from outside and built like that nice and bright pretty white color temperature says 6000k something written on them so i can only assume that's what they are um yeah they got them so that's it for this week um just a quick test on some better quality led bulbs like i said in the past i've always said to people led bulbs don't work in this sort of headlight uh, you're wasting your time, you know, I'm not going to work. Um, like I said, so I've got to go back on that a little bit now because I've been proven otherwise, and I am surprised about it. Got to admit, I am surprised. Didn't think they were going to work. Just thought I'd try them anyway. Something to do. Um, so, yeah, like I said, that's all for this week. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to comment and tell me that they're illegal for MOT because uh, I didn't know that. Um, and, um, yeah, as I said, you know, subscribe is always welcome. Uh, so yeah, see you next time.